of this video is covering um, basically the LiPo battery that comes inside the SEMA helicopters um, and a lot of other RC toys that uh, are sold. Um, this one is the S107. Um, I uh, had a what I felt to be a premature battery. The, the battery died prematurely. Um, it only lasted a couple of months. Uh, sometimes that can happen from what I read. It can happen uh, as a result of um, uh, poor manufacturing, moisture getting inside them, or overcharging them, uh, overheating them. There's a bunch of different causes, but they're so inexpensive to replace. I think I got this on Amazon for six bucks. This is a replacement. Um, but um, uh, this is what they look like, of course, taken out of the nose. They uh, sit inside the nose. Had to desolder the old one and pull it out and uh, resolder and put in the new one. I'd bought two of them, so this is a spare. It's 3.7 volts. Uh, it's the 150 milliamp um, LiPo battery. LiPo actually stands for lithium polymer. And uh, the interesting thing is, while I was doing research to figure out how to uh, replace this, somebody had talked about some circuitry being inside this that actually prevents it from overcharging. And other people are buying that, I think it's the 200 or 250 milliamp which is supposed to give you a couple of more flying minutes but they take longer to charge I decided to go with a stock one as you can see here um, this one is actually supposedly manufactured by SEMA, SIMA, however you pronounce it um, but anyway the circuitry inside they were saying does not come in the 250 so you have to watch your charging pay attention these things can uh, flame up and cause house fires and whatnot so uh, I wanted to see since I had an old one uh, pulled out of here. I wanted to see what was inside it, what is actually uh, inside the, the uh, lithium polymer battery. So, what we have here is the guts to uh, said battery. Now, what I think we're looking at here when I first took this apart, and I'm no expert and others can comment as to what we're really seeing here, but basically there were three layers to this. You had uh, one one layer a second layer and it was separated by a third separator I think this is some kind of uh, uh, insulation plastic um, so let me get this out of the way and it's just a thin thin film kind of a plastic as you can see and um, what you have um, after you pull this out of the way is what appears to be a copper layer if you can see the copper there okay and then you have what appears to be an aluminum layer, real thin, real thin metal aluminum. And I'm going to take a guess here by some basic research that I did, but the substance that you see uh, breaking away on this, which looks like a carbon, is I believe what's going to actually be uh, the lithium itself. Uh, uh, some kind of a, uh, the metal appears to be some kind of laminated uh, composite lithium material. Um, it's a solid lithium polymer which acts as a conductive electrolyte. That is the actual electrolyte that separates the two types of metals. So I'm going to say that uh, more than likely the copper is the anode or the negative uh, side of things and the aluminum is more than likely the cathode which is going to be the uh, positive side of things. And again, um, people can comment on this and set me straight or you know educate others on it. I'm not an expert. but. Anyways, you can see it, it, it's flaking off. You can see little little pieces of it coming off. I believe that is the actual polymer, or rather the actual lithium uh, element in these batteries. Now, when I open this up, which is probably not a good thing to do inside, I initially smelled kind of a noxious fume coming off them, so I quickly took it outside and let it air out. I'm back inside, and these have kind of dried out, but they were... They, and they also seem to be hot to the touch. I, gave, I did give them a little touch. Initially, they were hot. I know that when they're exposed to waters and sodium, salt, stuff like that, that they actually cause a reactance. Uh, or they, they become uh, uh, active and, uh, and actually can uh, uh, produce heat. So um, that's, that's the bottom line there. You got, it, 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 it was just coiled up into this n nice, neat little pack that you see here. And again, separated by this uh, thin film uh, insulator, I'm going to say. Uh, so you can actually see the crinkles in here where they were actually, you know, rolled up, making the size of the battery that you see. And again, they weren't touching each other. As you can see, some of the flakes are coming off. Now, get down to the nitty-gritty or the part that I was actually trying to find 
was like I said on uh, another YouTube video I had seen where somebody had discussed or rather researched it on the web that there was circuitry inside these things to prevent them from being overcharged but that that is not included in the 200 250 milliamp uh, or 250 yeah, milliamp uh, uh, batteries so I don't know that to be the case I didn't uh, get one of those however this is the, from the stock SEMA uh, SIMA SEMA um, battery and as you can see, I hope that's focusing, um, there is um, there is actual little uh, micro circuits on board, little chips you can see soldered to a board with a positive wire coming off and the negative. Evidently, uh, and then you see these leads which went inside the packet and uh, at one point, this whole thing just came unraveled on me so I didn't really get to pay attention to what happened but evidently one side was actually a part of it attached there and then wrapped around this thing again making the entire pouch so there's your circuitry a little mini solder uh, a little circuit board with the circuitry soldered on which is going to uh, I'm pretty confident prevent the overcharging so what I understand is that the little yellow USB well mine was yellow the little USB um, charging cable that comes with this has a light on it the circuitry is not inside that is actually inside the battery but the light when it senses that there's no more current allowed to be uh, allowed to flow is uh, when the light goes off indicating to you that the that the charge is complete uh, or I could be uh, wrong could be the other way around could be when the light is actually on uh, comes on that's when the circuit is fully charged so but again don't depend on the USB um, uh, plug to uh, you know don't depend on that to be what charges it because if you plug that into one of these 200 or 250s whatever it was uh, they may not Again, I'm not saying they don't have the circuitry. I'm saying I can't confirm that they have the circuitry. So uh, you may want to be cautious and just time it. Make sure you don't charge it for more than... Um, there's formulas that you can go to the web and figure out if you've got so much flying time out of the 200 or 250s. Um, you know, you should charge it for an hour and a half or whatever the case may be. Uh, so, uh, again, I just thought you all would find this interesting that uh, uh, the insides of the battery, what it looks like, this thing all rolls up. It's again two pieces separated by plastic uh, coated with a, uh, a lithium uh, composite material uh, which acts as electrolyte which allows the flow of, 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 uh, of um, uh, the electricity or rather the uh, electrons, whatever you want to call it, the ions back and forth. I don't know that much about batteries. Uh, admittedly so. And then uh, and, and they're all wrapped up in this nice little packet here. So there you go.